Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to the Lobotomy Corporation. Alrighty. So, in the last episode we made quite the terrific stride in getting ourselves as powerful as we possibly could. And, uh, oh boy, we're going to need it. Because, coming up is going to be Tifereth. Tifereth is by far going to be the hardest stretch of the game right now. Now, we do have nothing there's stuff. We don't have the weapon, but, uh, that's okay. So, I'm going to real quick hover over, uh, hover over everybody and show what we got. All in all, we're doing relatively well, but our stats could absolutely be higher. Now, one thing that would be helpful, not to these characters because they're already past that point, but uh, Hod's suppression would by far be the most useful thing that we could get our hands on. Obviously, that is a... Uh, quite some way away but you know it is still technically something that we can do so hopefully by the time we're all said and done we'll have a couple of fives I'm hoping we get to go to Tifereth with at least five level fives ideally we don't have any level threes but if we do we do you know there's not a whole heck of a lot we can do about that but all we can do is try. So without further ado, let us begin day 19. I believe that is going to do it for today. <laughs> Nobody dead and the music is <clears throat> in its in-between phase where you can't hear it. That's all right. Sombor went from 97 to 100 and something, 95 to 100 and something, 88 to 93. Joy went from 97 to 100 something, 88 to 92, 79 to 81. Not Anne went from 67 to 73, 78 to 81. Mao went from 60, no, went from 76 to 81. James went from 77 to 82. Picoge went from 75 to 78. Sleepy went from 72 to 75. Hod Simp went from 38 to 53. Uh... Ivan Co. went up by one whole point. Caius went from 63 to 66 and 84 to 91. The luckiest man went from 81 to 83, 67 to 69. Nice. Berries on Vine went from 70 to 72. Marcos Jr. went from 60 to 62, 67 to 69. PK went from 70 to 87, 78 to 91, 75 to 83. Kyle went from 54 to 58 and 27 to 31. Sam went from 55 to 60. Annabelle went from 61 to 60. Five, and Crimson went from 50 to 69, 48 to 60, 52 to 61, and Yukari went from 51 to 56. Whew! So, overall, a little bit of targeted leveling today, but that's okay. Also, I don't know how we didn't manage to do this quest, especially, especially since Crimson is apparently now level 5. But, alright, fair enough. Beloved, what do you think you will lose? When you are patient, you want what can go wrong. Why do you mourn the dead? Liberate, is he your friend? I have... <laughs> wow, that one caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> I have a car. Do you want to cool in the future? <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, do you want to cool in the future? 
I really cannot wait. The fortress again, Miss Miss Mary? <laughs> Tifera. It's Tifera. <laughs> oh, please. Why? Why is it Tifera? Miss Mary? Oh, God. What are you doing? In short, he finally gave us a report on the operation of the lake. In fact, last night... We cannot find it everywhere. I'm sure I got drunk. <laughs> What do you what is that? <laughs> oh my god. We can find it any everywhere. I'm sure I got drunk and slept in this place like a fish. The absolute spirit must know how to pray. I do not want to tell them. As for you, madam, when she when she tells you that there have been many nations, you can only be honest, Angela. Netzak Sephira. What? <laughs> what it means? What it means? Oh. To be replaced. Types. <laughs> it is not a tool that can be used later. In the wrong process that you need to remove, Sephira. Do not do it wrong. If you want to get up on the ground. Anger is not just being replaced. If not found bad and do your job. Fortunately, all the mistakes easier, we adjust. He did not do... Luck played a role. Drunk and drowsy, all in Kefalon. This is part of the author. Addition allows. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What is this? Is, oh, this is the worst episode for the dialogue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Addition allows Tippetert. <laughs> I do not think that the new replacement for O oh, Fortune O oh, Fortune, as usual, is completely different. To learn about the intense Sephira O oh, Fortune from the old one. <laughs> I'm with you, Tiffera. Completely Tiffera. Completely speechless. Stand back. Just change the confidentiality of the process. I know how you feel, but there is another business issue. So, I have a chapter. She will not cry. Remember Angela tracked to change this process? Finally, your responsibility? Do you think the threat is scary? I do not want to be disappointed. But I want. <laughs> but, but I want tip bizers. I do not know. You have seen it from the church crumbs. If the manager played recently. Sorry, Miss <laughs> Mrs. Angelos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. <clears throat> this is completely serious. Sorry, Mrs. Angelos. Tupra felt from childhood. I still do not ask why you are lying. I always wanted to lose. Angel could be in a better position than before. And if this person could... If it is the first artificial intelligence for me, the moment of self-destruction. It is expensive. 
I do not want to say good things to myself. There is nothing to worry about. <sighs> Total efficiency. Finish the day with three or less agents deployed in each department. Um... That's a problem. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. You know what? We're gonna hold off on that mission. Uh, <laughs> also, complete the day with five or more level five employees. Do we not have more than five? Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Well, all right, uh, apparently it didn't count. So, them leveling to five does not count as them being five. Uh, we will do that Netzak quest, just not right now, because this is our final day of Netzak before we move on to Tifereth. So we need to make sure that we get as much XP as possible. We need to get rid of some of these level threes and bump them up to level 4 or level 5. Level 4 would still be fine, but if we go into Tifereth with um, level 3s, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble with Dusk events. Ooh, Dawn of Green, Noon of Violet? Oh, the game's just giving it to me on a silver platter. Well, first things first. Let us deal with the meat doggo. Yeah, meet Doggo. Um, I want PK to come work on this. What is his lowest stat? It is repression. Um, let's have Crimson come over here and do some insight. After all, it is Winsight. Um, let's have Sam work on Burb with Justice. Let's have. We could have someone sit down here with uh, Shy Look and practice justice. You know what? We should probably do that, huh? Yeah, let's bring one of our level threes down and work with Shy Look. That way we can get some more justice. Because more movement speed, more attack speed, you really can't go wrong with that. Okay, let's get Yukari in there before time's up. Sweet. Okay. So, the day, honestly, I don't foresee this day going too horribly. Um, I guess we'll see. But I think it'll be fine. Especially with a, a Dawn of Green and Noon of Violet. Those are like two of the easiest ones. However, it is going to kill some of our employees in training. Which means we get a little less XP. So, other than that, it'll be fine. Wait, what? How did you get out? Oh my god. PK went up by one prudence point and he can't work on Scarecrow anymore. <sighs> huh. Oh. That's problematic. Um... Oh no. Literally everyone else has three or above. Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do as much farming as I wanted today. Because if we get too many... Oh boy. If we get too many bad breaks with Scarecrow, um, Red Riding Hood's gonna get out, and that's obviously not good. Um, ooh, yeah, very bad. I don't even know how that happened. How did he get, well, quite literally, one 
SP point. He's not even using a, um, a white damage weapon. I literally don't know how I pulled that off. Also, suppressing Scarecrow is going to take us ages. Okay, let's move somewhere back. Not that I think he's, you know, too low, but... Oh, the ability. <laughs> I was gonna say, where'd everyone go? But they all teleported back. Um, okay, so Scarecrow's actually a bit of a threat now. Very cool. Hey, we took... We took Scarecrow's body with us. Huh. That's a cool ability. I just kind of wish you could use it more than once. Because that... Eh, you know, it kind of makes it a little less useful. Just a... Just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, if Fragment gets out... That's another... Uh, lowered Quiploth for... Oh, boy. This is, um... Yeah, this is something. I don't think we have a whole lot of options. Okay, um... We'll just have to make the most of what we got. Because now that there's a threat that Little Red gets out... It's kind of scary. Now... We do have Maxwell, who takes practically no red damage. So, you know, worst case, Maxwell can potentially tank her. I hope. But it would be really, really nice if he had um, the actual sword. Because then he could be, you know, doing a little bit of lifesteal. And obviously lifesteal is going to be very, very important to us. Oh boy, um... Yeah. Alright, let's just, um, go about our day as normal then, and, uh, hopefully she doesn't bust out on us. That is enough for today. We have tempted fate for long enough. Most excellent. Okay, I could just say all their stats again, but, uh, the entire video is only going to be that. If that's what I end up doing. So, all in all, we ended up getting quite a lot of extra stats. <sighs> and with that, it's time to start Tiffer. Oh, these are certainly choices. Sadness says, be gone, pass away. But greed seeks eternity. Seeks deep, deep eternity. Honestly, I think we could handle her. I think we could handle her. But... Who's up next? She was so sad when she had to leave her dear friends behind. So she came up with a brilliant idea. This magical bullet can truly hit anyone. Just like you say. Over time, her unbearable sorrow grew into a mournful obsession, covered in countless lengthy hairs. <sighs> I don't like any of these. <laughs> these all kind of suck. I mean, this one's not bad. This is only a teth. This is a shooty shooty... Kura's, Kura's gonna have an accident again. And this is probably the easiest one to deal with. Mm. Okay. Don't you think a time worth ignoring, even declaring it too old from the beginning? You told me. However, I already understand what it is. I see. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Alright, this is their only normal line that they're gonna get, so let's savor it. 
Good day, manager. We are in charge of the central command team. Will our department be open up today? That's both of them talking. Memory repository imprinted. <sighs> well. Um. That. You. And then you. You. Okay. We have our first Dusk event that's going to show up. Could be a little bit problematic. Could be relatively good. No way to say for sure. All in all, we did get rid of most of our level 3s, if nothing else, so... You know, that does certainly help. That is uh, very helpful indeed. But, you know... So what are we going to do now? Um... We have, in total, four open slots, but we don't really have a lot of high-level characters to spread around. Um, technically, Kyle could come down here. That makes three, which we should be able to manage with that, I think. Um, yeah, that's all I'm really willing to move around so that's just what we're going to have to deal with now we do have 50 lob points and i think it's about time that we start doing something special after all we're going to lose people so we may as well have something to replace anyone who has been lost however uh we haven't actually lost anybody yet 20 days no death and this is like without any of the super mega floor bonuses. This is probably the best I've ever done. So, you know, that's pretty cool. That's uh that's pretty solid. So, here's what's going to happen. PK. I was trying so hard to get him this gift. Reason being, it lowers our SP by 2. And if you remember, our SP grew by 1 which put us from Prudence 2 to Prudence 3. So had we gotten that, we would have been able to work on Scarecrow relatively easily. But because we didn't, it's going to be a little bit more tricky than that. I'm thinking Myra might be able to deal with it. <sighs> yeah, she might be able to deal with it. If we just give her like a little bit of temperance, maybe spend some points, bump her up to three, and give her just like an okay set. I think she might be the next one to take over for it. But we're certainly going to see. I'm actually going to put her in safety um, so that she's a little bit tankier because, let's see, the people here, Feast of Virtues, of Fortitude, and Prudence. Yeah, so overall, it makes them tankier if they're here in the, you know, the stats way, unlike Gaburra and Cheese, which increase, or is it? Yeah, no, Gaburra and Cheese, who increases it in the um, defense or offense way. Now, somebody needs to take Mimicry. I'm thinking it's going to be Maxwell, because not only does he have the suit, because he was working on nothing there, but he also has the extra set of eyes. So... He's our honorary uh, person with mimicry. However, um, I do think Sleepy will be getting the full set when the time comes. I don't know. I don't know what gives me that inclination, but something tells me Sleepy will feel right at home with all of the uh, nothing there stuff. You know, just, just just a little bit of a feeling, you know? it's It probably doesn't mean anything. All right. <clears throat> all right, my voice is a little bit... <laughs> voice is a little bit out, but that's okay. So, let's see how we do with our brand new abnormalities. Should be fine. Letitia is, like, ridiculously simple. And Child of the Galaxy, once you have the 
pebble going. It's not the worst thing in the world. There we go. We got the pebble. And... We did not get the heart. Very good. The heart is, uh... <laughs> no good. It's no bueno. Alright, let's see the managerial tips. When the work result was normal, she gave a heartfelt gift to Bong Bong. When Dexter was assigned to work with a different abnormality, instead of Letitia, a eventually burst out of their body at a certain point. Very cool. We definitely don't want that to happen to our employees, but you never know what might happen. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. So, what I think we're going to do... We still don't have anybody, at least at the moment, who can work on Scarecrow anymore ever since PK randomly got one extra prudence. However, if PK were to get today's shy look, uh, his gift, that would help us a lot. Because, once again, like I mentioned a little earlier, uh, we only went up by one, this removes it by two. So, yeah, I guess PK just kind of has to sit on shy look all day, which does have the slight, you know, chance for just immediate death, considering shy look is, um, a little finicky. Like, I don't know why, but shy look really likes to break what it's doing by, like, oh, I'm at smile, and then as soon as you're entering the door... It's like, oh, and now I'm mad for no reason. I don't know why Shylock does that, but... Oh, here we go. PK, get on in there. Okay, we're good. Oh, Shylock is like... It's not like the hardest abnormality in the world, but it is a little bit tedious trying to constantly get uh, the happy face. So, uh, you know, it potentially could be better than what it is, but it also could be worse. Um, we're just going to sit Kyle. Yeah, wait, come to think of it, why is it always Kyle with the really... <laughs> with, like, the little girl abnormalities? This is not intentional. Like, Kyle was basically the only one sitting on the road home and now Kyle's the only one sitting on Letitia. This is not something I've done on purpose. However, now that I've noticed, it's <laughs> well, it's a little funny to be honest, but it's also like Kyle, you uh, you right there, bud? You got something you need to reveal to us, huh? <clears throat> Our goal for today is in this day, uh, we are going to try and deal with the dusk event. However, it is the Dusk of Amber, which, uh, you know, not the best thing in the world. I definitely would have hoped for something else, but, you know, it's it'll be okay, probably. Sort of. Uh, if we were ever going to have a death, it's going to be today. Now, let me show you how we deal with noon events around these parts. Grant us love. Alright, here's what we do. You ready? Because here's what we're going to do. We're going to send Team 1, which is Joy, Maxwell, and Sambor, to go deal with this one. Then, we are going to send Information Team to come deal with this one. Then... Everyone in safety is going to deal with this one, right? Right. You're with me so far. Training is going to come for this one. And finally, central command plus Caius, who's in regular command, is going to go for this one. So then, let us see how it goes. Nobody should die. We're pretty much past that point. My big issue is how much damage are we doing? Enough to where nothing there didn't get out, but is it enough to where Little Red does not get angered? Yes. 
Very good. Okay, so there's only two more left to deal with. Let's see how they're doing. They just got there. Okay, we lost a... Nah, the ability didn't seem to go off. However, this one seemingly is about to. Very good. Grant us love. We cannot understand them. Let's get everybody back to where they belong. And that should basically be the end of that. All we need to do now is survive the dusk event. And that'll be a pretty good amount of progress for us to have made. <sighs> the only issue being we actually have to survive the dusk event. Which, um can be easier said than done. However, we do have Little Red with us. So I'm thinking we're going to sick her onto one of the creeps and weirdos. And then we're just going to do what we gotta do. So I'm gonna show you the rest of the day just to show you how I go through it. So here's what we're gonna do. Kyle is going to go for He's so gonna go for some insight on Letitia. He's been the only one who's basically been working on her. Annabelle is going to get a bit more justice and we're going to not be able to buy either of Letitia's stuff. That's fine. Um, I've been using PK to try and get Shylook's mask. Unfortunately, it hasn't quite worked out for us. We've gotten really, really lucky with Scarecrow just not triggering at all. So what we're gonna do, we're going to have Hod Simp come work on Deburb. We're going to have Berries come work on Bloodbath, and then we're going to have Yukari work on Spider Bud. And that should be a good amount of repression training for us, provided everything goes well. Hod Simp got into Burb. Everyone is basically where they should be in relatively good time. So what we're going to do now, we're going to send someone to work on Little Red. I'm going to send Sam because she could use some insight. Can't go wrong with that. Then, okay, Caius is done on attachment. So I want him to get a little bit of health. After all, he is one of our heavy hitters of the corporation, so we're going to want him to get a little more statted up. Stats are looking a wee bit low there. Okay, everyone's going to where they need to go. We're getting a tiny bit of repression leveling, although it's not exactly easy, but that's okay. That's kind of to be expected. Repression is one of the harder things to level up unless you have certain abnormalities that don't mind you using it. There is also a part of me that is slightly regretting not taking King of Greed because that is a lot of, you guessed it, repression work that we could have done. Now, Kyle does have the heart, which is to be expected, obviously. He's been the only one working on Letitia. On Letitia, so, you know, not a big deal. Um, now, what we're going to do now, I'm going to bring Caius, and he is going to work on Little Red. That is going to get him a good amount of instinct. Plus, the debuff isn't that bad at the moment. And then we need two more works to be done. So, I'm going to send someone to Punishing Bird. Um, I could send Sam. She might actually take quite a bit of damage, though. I might, I'm going to send Marcos Jr., who will not take as much damage. Eh? Actually, he might. I'm going to send Sam instead, on second thought. Okay, so once everyone is done with their work, we're going to start moving people into position. Uh, because we want this to go as painlessly as we possibly can. Something to make note of. Sombor does have Little Red's weapon. So if he goes below 50%, he is going to start doing damage to everybody. So we're just going to mass select, everybody comes up here, and then mass select, everybody comes over here. And then we're just going to get everybody into position and we're gonna do our absolute best to keep an eye out 
for where the enemies are. We are just going to play this as safely as we possibly can. We want to minimize losses, and this is how we're going to do it. Um, of course, we haven't actually had a death yet in this run, which I'm pretty proud of. But like I said, if we were ever going to have a death, it's going to be right now. So, I'm going to start bringing people out of the corner by sending them to, for example, Pompadour. So, Maxwell is going to come right here. Pretty central position. Should be relatively good to go. Sombor is going to be close behind him. He is going to go right here as well. Then we are going to call out Joy. She does still have a pale weapon, so that should be relatively good. Next, I'm going to call Crimson because she actually has the Heart of Aspiration, which makes her a little bit more combat durable than it seems. Now, who are we going to call out next? Um, Caius could probably handle this fight, no problem. I am a little bit worried for his safety, but I think we are going to call him out as well. Um, he should do relatively fine. Next. None of these four I'm willing to call out. We could technically call out PK, but he takes a little bit more red damage, and I would just kind of prefer that he's out of harm's way. I think we will take Luckiest Man, Luckiest Man will be someone that we call upon to help us out in our little quest. Although he is melee, which, you know, melee characters are going to struggle a little bit, but unfortunately we just don't really have the weaponry to counteract that. Ivan! Go. Could be someone we take out, but I'd like to keep him safe. I don't feel his stats are quite high enough. So this is basically going to be our kill squad. This is what we got, so we just gotta make the most of it. So what we're going to do, just to make sure that everybody is relatively centralized, we are going to send someone to work on Spider Bud, because it should just be directly out of the way. So, Yukari is going to work on Spider Bud, and then we're just going to assess the situation and do what we gotta do. The okay. Which way is this one facing? Facing this way? Okay. This is our target. We're going for this one. Little Red? I require your assistance. I want Little Red to go for you. Apparently she considers this a Teth, which I'm fine with. That's only 80 power that we have to spend. Little Red is now out. She is going to do what she's got to do. Next up. We gotta start attacking him, but I'm going to let him move out of the hallway just slightly. Now, let's go for the attack. Okay, one down. Okay, everyone back into safety. As far as I know, they cannot go into the elevators, so we're just not going to worry about it. Which way is this one going? Okay, they burrowed. That's fine. Little Red is on the move. I think she killed it. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure she killed it. Um, Let's see. Where do we gotta go? Okay, this one's coming towards us, and so is this one. So we're not going to go for either of those. Uh, at the moment, they are not worth the effort. This one is technically coming towards us as well. We're just going to wait. We're just going to hold off for the moment. Little Red is gunning it to finish off her adversary. Very good. I think she also took out both of the little wormy boys. Very good. Very impressive. We're just going to wait for them to get into slightly better positions for us because at the moment, they're in some pretty bad ones. Okay, these two are in pretty good positions. So, actually, what? Okay, yeah, that one's facing this way. Let's start. Um, I don't know how easily we're going to be able to get over to them. Let's start moving. Let's stop moving because we're running straight towards him now. Okay, back in the elevator. 
We're just waiting for an opportunity to arise where we can actually deal with these guys without being immediately destroyed. Let's check on their health. They're doing okay. Um, well, you know, we could technically send out Little Red again. Guarantee that we get it. She will deal with that one for us. Obviously, that does hurt us in the power aspect, and if we run into a situation where we have to deal with Scarecrow, um, we're only able to deal with Scarecrow technically two times before Little Red actually comes out angry. So, I don't think it'll be too bad because we can work on nothing there two, sometimes three times every um, Quiploth Meltdown. And then we can work on Little Red three or four times as well. So I don't think power is going to be a huge situation for us. The music has gone normal because we've just been playing the waiting game. Now, something nice as well. Um, they actually only spawn a certain amount of enemies and they also cannot go into hallways. However, I was going to say, when they're all grouped up like this, uh, Little Red will actually get a ton of damage off. Unfortunately, they immediately burrowed. Um, this is our situation. We're actually going to go for uh, this one. Little Red, of course, is still going on the aggressive. However, since he's faced away, we're just going to keep going for him. Okay. That is three down, assuming she killed hers, which it looks like she did, or it escaped her, although I'm led to believe that she killed it. Let's see, only one left, I think? Oh, no, they're both moving this way. Okay, so at the moment, she's trying to run this one down. Okay, they just moved. Okay, she's on her way. Now, where are they? Actually, he's facing this way again. That means that we get to deal with him ourselves, and this is not the one that she has marked. I don't know where the one she has marked is. I assume down here. Yeah, so she's running to go face this one. She's going to take a ton of red damage, but honestly, does that even matter for her? Like, look, look, she's not going to take any damage from that. So, let's go for the kill on this one. The little ones shouldn't do too much damage to us. They might slow us down, but that's basically it. Okay, he got away from us. Back to the elevator. Now we wait for where he pops out. Here he is. Okay, this is a small hallway. By the time we get to him, he's already going to be gone. Uh, little Red seemingly... Ah, this is her target now. Yeah, she's only taking 34 damage a shot. That is nothing. Yeah, she's not taking any damage. Which way is this one facing? Actually, this is her target, so we won't bother with that one. Uh, which way is this guy facing? We could try and get down there to kill it before it's too late, although I'm not feeling exactly optimistic about our chances. Yeah, by the time we get to him, he's unfortunately going to be gone. But we might be in a better central position now to deal with wherever he is going. So let's watch him move. Okay. And in fact, this was the perfect position for us to be in. Oh my god. That was close. I don't know if you saw that, but we walked directly in front of him. Luckily... He didn't actually do any damage to us. Okay, that was a little bit iffy at the end there, considering how safely we were playing that, but there you go. We took out the desk event with uh, no deaths at all. Barely any damage taken, in fact. Now, could did we have to use Little Red? No. Uh, we did not have to use Little Red, obviously. Um but she definitely made things a little bit easier. Although, I think the strategy would have been identical. Um, all we really needed to do was just wait for them to get into good positions for us where they're faced away, and then we could have dealt with them like so. That actually also goes for King of Greed. Um, it is the exact same strategy for King of Greed. Wait for a good position, and then just go for it. Now, 
Obviously, this doesn't work quite as well if there's an abnormality who triggers upon employee deaths. Uh, however, the death bullets do really help counter that. But it's something to be mindful of. Um, if you have death rattle abnormalities, it could go south really, really quickly. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to try and get as many points as we can and try and finish this day out with relative ease. Punishing Bird does get out, but Little Red doesn't care about that, so neither do we. Not to mention the red damage that Punishing Bird does is basically non-existent. So yeah, just be sure not to hit Punishing Bird. Now one thing I am really thankful for is the fact that your employees don't just suddenly try and shoot Punishing Bird for like no reason, because that would... Yeah, that uh... That would get us into some big trouble. Like, big, 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 big trouble. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit more repression, and then we are going to have Caius come work on this once again. Um, he's actually doing pretty okay on health, so I think we're gonna get some more Prudence right here. Um, and then we can go ahead and just get a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more Justice. And that should be today said and done. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Stop it! <laughs> She's teasing him. She's teasing him. She's running back and forth from him. Well, it looks like he's done. And that, as they say, is that. Control team, when dusk falls, cleared. Nice. Sambor, 72 to 74. Joy, 87 to 91. Not Aeon. Uh, 84 to 87. 69. Nice. To 73. And 31 to 34. Mao, 84 to 87. 78 to 80. 70 to 74. James, 65 to 68. 91 to 96. Picoge. 59 to 64, 52 to 55, Sleepy, 78 to 81, Hod Simp, 74 to 84, 78 to 89, 76 to 83, 55 to 58, Yvonne Co, 65 to 67, 70 to 80, Caius, 69 to, or I'm sorry, 79 to 89, 79 to 87, 99 to 100 and something, Luckiest Man, 74 to 84, 84 to 87, Berries on Vines, 73 to 74, and 24 to 37, Marcos Jr., 62 to 69, nice, 45 to 46, PK, 95 to 100 and something, 93 to 96, and 95 to 98, Sam, 62 to 67, 59 to 68, 60 to 62, 46 to 49, Yukari! 58 to 61, 49 to 56, and 34 to 49, Myra! 15 to 27, Crimson! 72 to 89, Annabelle! 48 to 66, and 38 to 68, Kyle! 56 to 73, 57 to 63, Wait, 56 to 73, 57 to 63, 62 to 68, 3 people promoted, 15 SP rewarded, and the control team mission done. Blood covers the whole floor, screams echo, people are running away. I go looking for you nowhere to be seen, crying on the way. Bearing the hope to return to dust, it shall go back to the grave with all that desires to live. Uh, I don't recognize this one. This isn't... No, it's the... Um, Nameless is the, the one that talks about the spin, right? <sighs> I... This one, bearing the hope to return to dust... I don't know what this one is. I go look at... Is this the shark? Is this a uh, Dreaming Current? No, Dreaming Current talks about grapes, right? 
Like, give him the grape one. It's his favorite. Yeah, I, I'm not fully sure what these two are. Whereas this one, I'm pretty sure this is the helper bot. So... Oh, boy. And we get to pick a tool. The final chapter ends with the phrase, born again. Eventually, intellect loses all meaning as they forget even how to exist. Uh, this is the one that gives you temperance, so we'll take that. No! Oh no, it affects the note! Okay. New carrots, I have heard that you are a valuable asset, and during that time you have made a significant contribution to growth. We hope you have a good relationship with Angel, the genius assistant. I cannot be here now, but I will see you. However, Robotomy will not forget you. It has maintained its dedication and efforts. Consent, my best wishes, CEO of Lobotomy Corporation. Did you receive this letter? I wrote to <laughs> What? That, that, it's not what? What? It's not your letter. You can't take. Look, you, no, 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 no. you can't take credit for that one. You may not have recognized it. <laughs> there is already an obstacle. At the end of each trip, your destination is your home. This. When I leave here. What will be the first trip? You can walk as you want. Take millions of photos. I know the sun is very cold. <laughs> and winter is coming to an end. Flowers are eyes. Is very. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> This T does. They are twins. But you have the same name. They are twins. Or at least that. We are twins. But if the question is, we are twins, then we are. You did not know it. Run to the headquarters. The current team is the largest in the middle and two people. <laughs> For two peas, bean pod. Uh, <laughs> unhappy. We are responsible for meeting the needs of our fathers because we do not have what it takes to understand the basics <laughs> and how to deal with it. Even if your manager knows how to fail, do not be confused. Manager, so you know you will feel better. There is a hint. It's not that I have nothing to do with the course you are used to. You're stupid. <laughs> but when it comes to technology, you do not really care. In other words, even if you do not have much to do, you better pretend to be busy. I cannot believe that all this is Sephiroth. In any case, the real story begins when the core team. Are you disappointed or convinced of this? Thanks for the great job. I hope it encourages you here for me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he just shows up and just... To... Then it... <laughs> just like about to throw up. <laughs> Hello, Fortress. I think we have a staff together, T. It was a joint security exercise planned for tomorrow, and the central government. Please check. Look at her. <laughs> you must be the threshold in which you are. 
Fortune, then, is leaving. We will inform you later by browsing. It is very slippery. Fortune, how fair you will not get addicted. So you can get the best... Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh. Ay ay ay. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? <clears throat> so you can get the best syndrome. By the way, and by request, the plan is delayed by two days. As long as there is a fortune settlement, it... It does not work well. Ew. There's a big event here. It's easy for our men, Angela. Because if a man was not addicted to sin, punish him for the first time. And the like. Do you want to introduce a system of sanctions to take the issue seriously? It will definitely be useful. Be quiet. You're a leader. Arrival. Suggest to sit here. Alright, male Tempers is already broken. Hello, Fortress. Huh. Sephiroth, because it is very easy to use. It was not so violent. Seven. That is in the middle of the rings. I will love you. Laugh at me, and it's a lot of fun. How many times have you said an easy smile? You have to be strict. Strict and persistent. Is it the Central Control Center? Do not worry. I know trees. By the way, do you want to talk to your boss? Do you have another administrator? Indeed. On a mission. Do not think about art. The best is always okay. It is not usual. Okay, this might be a little bit of cheating, but I... I want to see what that abnormality is, so... Hang on. What a, What the... <laughs> what are you? Okay, this is a modded abnormality. Okay. Alright. Well, you know what that means. All hands on deck. Whenever the modded abnormalities show up, it's, uh... It's no good. The modded abnormalities tend to be insane. Now, I'm feeling really good about our levels now. Obviously, Myra's level one. I mean, we just got her yesterday, so that's kind of to be expected. Um, I mean, her stats are okay. I, well, you know what? Honestly, if we sit her on, um, on Child of the Galaxy for a while, I think it'll be fine. Um, could get Letitia's gun. I'm sure Berries would like that, the Letitia set. <laughs> Obviously, Berries is the older brother of Grapes, but, uh, you know, maybe he likes uh, Letitia just as much. So, I actually think we are going to finish this episode right here, because it's occurred to me, it's been a very long time since we've had a uh, roguelike lobotomy corporation video. So, this will... <laughs> This will be proof that I haven't given up the series. Because I know sometimes I take a while to continue a series. Obviously, life get bit, gets busy, or sometimes there's a lot of series going on. But we haven't ended this one. And part of the reason it was so slow is because, like original Lobotomy Corporation, when I'm just catching back up to somewhere where we left off, I feel as if it just won't be entertaining, so I just don't record it which of course you know that could be a mistake on my end um but i mean hey the fact that i was so uh, focused and not commentating at all means that look at our levels we look so good to go issue with that we're absolutely going to lose somebody soon either we're going to lose it during the control team meltdown the information team meltdown and if neither of those, guaranteed, I guarantee it, the training team we're going to lose someone. I guarantee it. If we're, it, we could go through the whole game, not lose anybody. But the instant we start getting to this, to the meltdowns, we're going to lose somebody. Ha. 
So, with 64 points, I'm thinking we will start mass producing clones here shortly. Uh, as for what the clone... I will actually... You know what? I'll leave that up to your guys'... Uh, <laughs> uh, that might be a mistake. But you know what? I'm going to let you guys name it. What is the mass produced clone employee going to be named? I'm thinking... We'll make them look as, like, alien as possible. We'll give them, like, green hair. We'll give them, like, super beady green eyes. And, uh, you know, maybe, like, a nice little smile. They'll be very cheerful. And, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you guys think we should name it. Obviously, if you want to see uh, the employee first, that's fine. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I do have to think of a cosmetic that I'd be fine seeing, like, 200 times since that's the idea that I'm kind of going with, is like, oh, guys, don't worry, we'll just have, it's like the Clone Wars, they're all the exact same thing. <laughs> but like, for example, name number one, number two, number 17, you know, just something like that. Ah, I am hoping we're, we'll be able to push through and get the HOD mission done before we reset to our final attempt. Because obviously, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this mid-episode, which I probably should have, I'm going to try and limit us to three runs and just see as high as we could possibly go. Because obviously, if I just keep resetting and uh, going and going and going, eventually we're going to get there. Let's be honest. Eventually, we're just going to hit the final day regardless. So, this being our second rerun, um, is basically we need to get as far as we can in this run to see how far we can get. And then our third rerun is going to be the final one. That is going to be the number that we finish on to see what we've actually gotten. So, <laughs> I'm feeling optimistic at the moment. Obviously, we haven't done the meltdowns, but that's okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And once again, if you would like any additional characters, or if you would like a brand new character, just be sure and let me know, and I will get them made for you. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.